What's going on, dude? This company, Ancel, sent me this Bluetooth battery monitor. So first thing, all I know really, I really haven't opened the box or anything, all I know is that I downloaded the app because it's a battery Bluetooth monitor. So it works with an app on my phone, it works with your Apple phone and your Android phone. So that's good because that's all the phones out there. So what we got is the Bluetooth battery monitor. This is a little different than what I thought I was gonna end up with. I thought I was gonna end up with a battery tester stand. It installs in your vehicle and you leave it there. Um, and uh, it's supposed to notify you through your app on your phone. Um, the battery status is pretty simple to understand, I guess. And looks like it installs with some of these really big spades. It's kind of, I guess that makes it easy to install. Your battery monitor. That's actually got the QR code here. You can, I guess you can scan that. It'll send you right to the app. You can download the app. Um, I'm assuming that you can use it as like a diag tool if you wanted to, but it's meant to be installed in your car and left with your battery all the time. It's got instructions. Uh, how to install it. Yeah. What the display is. Some good instructions. They're nice and colorful. Just to see kind of what it looks like. It's not hooked up now, so it's not showing me anything. But it looks really easy because you got voltage test here, which is going to show me the voltage of the battery. Cranking test. Now this thing, from what I can tell, it doesn't show you amps. It just shows you voltage. So for it to show you amps, it would need to go in line with the the, uh, the positive side of the battery, which it doesn't do. So it really can't show you amps, or it need uh, some type of um, like pickup on it, which I it, it doesn't have to be able to show you amps. So it'll show you some type of cranking voltage, which is um, okay. And it'll show, show you a, uh, what is it, an idle charging test, okay? So we'll end up doing the charging test. I'm gonna go ahead and install it, see what the app tells me all the way. And what I was thinking was, is with the Jeep, I have the radio on in the Jeep all the time, like without it running, especially when I go off-road or I'm at the beach. And I'll have the back gate up, we'll be sitting around it um, at the beach, you know, having some beers or whatever and have the radio on. And I'm constantly worried about uh, the battery dying like time will get away from me for it to look at my watch and oh crap the you know the the jeep's been uh the radio's been on for like 45 minutes so i usually carry a jump box with me just in case it dies you know and if it dies at the beach i'm gonna be walking around asking for people for a jump box but with this um in the app the app's supposed to notify me you can set it for a certain level of when the battery goes down to notify me on my phone uh, the condition of the battery. So this is gonna buy me some peace of mind right here. I was thinking, okay, so go off road, can have the radio playing, can have the fans on, have whatever playing. This will tell me when the battery's getting low. Go start the car up, charge the battery back up. And uh, I was thinking, like, okay, so that's me. Like you, you might have a boat. This would be handy on a boat, because I know I've been on a boat where the battery's not charging on the boat. We got the radio on. Same thing. Boat, um, RV, you got camping in, camping in. Camping, same thing. Got stuff going. Um, want to know what's up with the batteries? Don't want to run out of batteries when you're camping. Same thing. So it has its uses. Like if you go tailgating or whatever, you know, it is football season right now. You might do some tailgating, have the radios on, have like a freezer hooked up to your, you know, whatever, have generators running or all kinds of little inverters and stuff like that or just eating up your batteries. Well, this, this will come in handy because it'll just tell you in your pocket, hey, go start the truck. Um, you're about to lose your battery. So that's the biggest thing I think. Or the biggest biggest reason I could come up with of buying it was just to have uh, all your 12 volt accessories uh, running and your car's not on. It'll let you know when to go start it. So I'm gonna go install this. Um, all right, so the battery monitor. I was uh, reading one feature about this thing and it says that it has the reverse polarity protection. So you can't well, you can, but if you hook this thing up backwards, the smoke won't come out of it, okay? So it has some type of built-in protection, so that's cool. And uh, the spades make it easy to install. So if you look at my terminals here on the Cherokee, I'm just going to loosen these two guys up. Slip this on, tighten it up. Pretty much done. Uh, you can zip tie this somewhere or Velcro it. Uh, they actually recommend I Velcro it, but... Let's see, I get a little bit of focus action going on. And, uh, but, you know, whatever. I got all kinds of stuff hooked up to this battery because 
This Jeep's full of uh, relays and lights and fan controllers and all kinds of crap. So, uh, and it's supposed to be waterproof up to a certain depth or waterproof, or something like that. <clears throat> all I know is that it's waterproof enough to where you can get it wet when you wash the engine, which is important. Or if you go off road and you're gonna get it muddy. Uh, it'll be okay. It'll survive. It probably won't survive going under water for very long, but you can wash it Hook it up real quick And the spades make it where you actually don't need to Disconnect your battery, which is kind of cool but All right, so it's hooked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and stuff this down here with the rest of my junk because I got all kinds of junk down there. Pull up the phone. And let's go straight to the app. Let's see what we got here. So it's showing me that the battery has 12.48 volts. Now this battery is like six years old. It, I, it probably uh, needs to be replaced, but uh, it hasn't given me any trouble right now. Um, it says it's at 80%. Really, I don't drive the Cherokee that much. It gives me the test time. Battery condition's okay. And uh, let's see. Cranking, charging, and then trip. Let's see what the trip is. The trip's not doing anything. But I'm going to the settings here. And in the settings, you can actually change the notifications. So it'll actually notify me on the app. Um, once every 24 hours and you can change this to as many times as you want or you know once every hour once every three hours you know this is good if you're you know doing tailgating or off-road or whatever and uh, abnormal cranking notification once every 12 hours if there is such a thing and then here is the most important part of this thing which is the power alarm now it actually doesn't show you the voltage it shows you a percent okay like before in the other menu it was telling me that the battery is at 80 percent this battery is not you know not 100 percent at all this battery is about 80 percent good from what this says now i really don't again i don't really drive this thing i haven't been driving it so the battery is going to be kind of low anyway but um whoop, 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 whoop. Um, you can set it. It has two notifications, so I can set it when it gets below 60, and I can set it when it gets below 40 or 50. I can set it anywhere I want, and it'll send me a notification. Which that is the important part. Bluetooth device. I'm just assuming this is going to tell me it's my phone. Hardware. This actually tells you how to install it. If you don't know how to install it, it tells you how to install it. I just told you how to install it. It's pretty simple. That's good. It has that in there. Like getting cheap, it doesn't feel cheap, you know, like Chinese cheap. Firmware. We have the latest version. Very right, cool. So the setup is so simple. And then we can do a cranking test if we want. Let's see here. How do we start to crank this? I'm gonna go ahead and remote start this guy. Let's see what this says. There's the cranking voltage test. Now this tells me that uh, when the uh, vehicle cranks, what the voltage drop, you know, what, it, what the battery goes down to, it looks like it goes down to 9.8. And this, according to this, it says the voltage is okay, that the battery is still good to start this guy. All right, it's not too low. All right, so we can do a charging test. It tells you what to do, start engine. Turn off any device, uh, blah, 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 blah. Turn on headlights only. Start testing. Okay, car, it even told me that the car hasn't started yet. So I'm gonna turn the car up. So it showed me my idle uh, 
and my idle charging, which is 13.8, which is pretty good. And it has here for uh, high idle or high RPM, which is 13.9, which I really didn't do. It told me to increase the uh, the RPMs, which I didn't do because I just you know didn't have time to really run over there and do it. I mean, I tried, but uh, when I did try, it went to 13.9, which is still within the range. Okay, and I'm assuming that it's going to go up. This is good for diagnosing. Um, your alternator just to some degree you can find out if um, like usually your battery charging voltage will be different at idle than it will be when you're running on the highway so this will actually give you a comparison of where you're at like the alternator that I had on my Jeep it would not charge at idle but it would charge on the highway so that's typically how they start to go out so this is good uh, some good information and then I still have no data as far as the trip goes but that's pretty much it I mean um, see if I can get it to notify me uh, that the battery's. All right, so I want to go ahead and test the notifications, see how it works. So I go ahead. And I got the uh, headlights on and the key turned forward and the blower motor's going, and I've been draining the battery down. I actually have it set to notify me at 70% or below. So I want to see what that looks like. So I'm just letting it kind of discharge a little bit see kind of notification it gives me there's my notification all right cool like right when it hit 69 percent notified me and I have it set up for a second alarm which is at 60 percent I kind of wish this was more, uh, I could dial this in more where I wanted it, like exactly where I wanted it, but it seems to work just fine. I'll go back. I'll send my notifications here. Battery power is down to 69%. It'll actually notify me, like the display would change to uh, red, indicate low power. That's about as low as you want to go. All right, so the uh, Ansel MB300 battery monitor, the Bluetooth battery monitor, uh, it's actually a pretty cool little gadget. I don't know, the more I think about it, the more applications this thing you can really use it for. I mean, you know, ATVs with radios and motorcycles and anything six to 20 volts, pretty much you can monitor with your phone. And uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description box for a coupon. So check that out. If you have any questions, just uh, you can hit me up in the comments or you can hit me up on Instagram. And if you liked the video, do me a favor and hit a thumbs up. If you hated it, hit the thumbs down. And you guys take care. Be safe. Have a great weekend. Later.